Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rush Hour here, and in this video, I am playing on Terminal for the first time in multiplayer for Modern Warfare 3, and this is the most recent downloadable content for Call of Duty Elite, and I'm here with you guys playing some Domination Road to Commander episode 19, and uh, last episode I told you guys I would try out the P90, and I did equip the P90 to this class, and I'm going to be trying to unlock some uh, attachments for this gun and, and so forth, so... Uh, I'm gonna figure out uh, and see if I actually remember most of the things about this map. It has definitely been a while since. Oh, fail panic knife. Um, it's definitely been a long time since I've I've played this map. Um, it's been since Modern Warfare 2 actually. So uh, I think I remember most of the things about this map. You know, this was a really popular map back in the day, and I, I definitely played a lot. So um, there's nothing that I really like forget about it. You know, it's it's really hard to forget maps when. What do you guys think? When you move to a new Call of Duty, do you feel like you forget the maps from the old ones? Or do you feel like you remember them, like, really well? I I always tend to think that I remember the maps from the old games really well. Kind of like, I'll never forget them, kind of, just because I've played them so much. That, you know, once you play something and memorize it to the point where, you know... <laughs> oh god, that's way too far of a range for a P90. Maybe I shouldn't be using a P90 in this map, we'll see. Um, this seems like more of a more of an ACR kind of map, and uh, I think that's definitely going to be the case here. I'm going to see how much I'm going to struggle from this, and that's a bouncing Betty. God darn it! Um, yeah. Also, I don't have any like rapid fire or extended mag for this P90 yet. I just have the plain old P90. Come on, man! You want to mess? Want to mess? Getting hit markers in there like a boss whipping up bullets down range oh man look at that I got that one guy now we got one more dude in the cockpit to worry about that's an enemy care package ooh what's this dude doing back here look at you oh I feel like that's a legit care package let me try to oh way too far away um yeah so I think terminal is a fun map I don't know there's, there's nothing too special about terminal I mean it's just another map um I mean, I'm glad they brought it back from Modern Warfare 2, but, you know, I I would like to see some new maps that I've never played before that are also really good, because, you know, it's it's kind of like saying playing the same map over and over again. It's like, eventually you will get bored of the map, but, you know, I haven't played this game for a while, and I'm sure I won't get bored very soon, but um, we'll just have to wait and find out. I'm glad they, you know, kept the burger bar. This is kind of cool. I really used to like this place. I just wish everyone wouldn't camp and we wouldn't be stuck back here, like little little scrubs. Here, let me let me change this up quick, real here. I said that sentence wrong. Let me switch to the scar. Um, said I'd work on my my P90, but it's not looking like a P90 map. It's looking more like a longer range map, and uh, I think this is going to be a smart decision on my part. I feel like I'm going to pull my kills and deaths back a little bit. Um, right now I'm 6 and 9. Ooh, 69, so immature. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like switching... What? That's such BS. Um, switching to the... Oh, oh, just killed him with my flashbang. You see that? I think I got a couple hit markers in that. I think my grenade, like, bounced off his foot or something and he died. Pretty epic, like a boss. Um, yeah, I think the using the longer range gun is going to make a huge impact in this gameplay. Um, hopefully I can just pull off some crazy stunts over here, or just get mowed down by an AK-47. Awesome! So, uh, one thing about Domination is that, uh, what I don't like is that you can't see how many captures or defends you have in the scoreboard. That's something that I really liked about Black Ops, because in Modern Warfare 3 I feel like everyone's out there for kills and deaths. Uh, I mean, which isn't true for every player, but, you know, stereo stereotypically, most people in Modern Warfare 3 uh, try to go for MOABs and stuff, and that's one of the reasons why I play Kill Confirmed, because I'm I'm an objective player, I like to play the objective. You might not notice that with Domination right now, but, you know, um, normally when I play Kill Confirmed, I try to get the kill and then get the tag, but, you know, with Domination, you kind of need to warm up to the game mode and, you know, play it a couple times before you can get used to the ABC thing, and and figure out where the flags are and uh, it's something definitely that you need to get used to so um, 
I mean, this is only my second game of domination in this whole entire series. So we'll see. Uh, oh God, that was a fail. I'm sorry about that. That was, that was really bad. I must admit, that's like some of the worst skill I've had all night. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, this domination, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking this more or less than uh, than kill confirmed. I thought. I mean, I like domination. I don't know if I like the fact that every game is like 10 minutes long and you guys have to deal with me talking for 10 minutes, but. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I just need to get used to where the maps are in every map. Figure out the spawns. Figure out, you know, where where to go with your team, and uh, just how to figure out the spawns. Basically, um, that's something that I was really good with in Black Ops. That I wasn't too good with in this game, just because. Oh God, I guarantee he probably had a. Uh, no, I don't think he had a, a. What's it called? Portable radar. Oh. Darn, we're getting hustled right here. Might not even upload this game just because there's like no action going on. Oh, look at that. Commando lunge to the face. Let's see if I can make a comeback here, guys. Let's see if I can somehow do something to change the outcome of this game. And I think it's going to be possible. Uh, it depends on how well I do. But I think that I can make a nice and sweet comeback because I am currently in their spawn and I just went positive and uh... uh oh that awkward moment when you run out of ammo and you're not even done shooting a guy let me just pick up this awesome oh I knew he was gonna come down there darn it alright so right now I'm 20 and 17 guys I'm gonna try to get tons of kills before this game is over and if we succeed and win this game that would be whoa that's a predator missile <laughs> that would be wonderful um get out of here get out of here get out of here I should title this video, Get Out of Here. This is just a slaughterhouse. Whenever these guys come up these steps, it's just like they can't survive for more than, you know, like three or four seconds. It's like five down. Soon to be like seven. Oh god, they got a recon drone. That means they're spawning back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, take out my dual FMG9s, kill that dude. Kill this. Oh, that's a the salt drone. Oh my god, run away! Run the hell away! Oh my god. Oh, we shot the rocket at me. Oh, come on. I was on like an eight kill streak. You know, I could have made something happen there. Oh, let me stun that thing. This thing's going down. Oh, look at that. Thing is dead. Oh, I didn't get the kill for it, but I assisted in the kill of this assault drone. I now feel slightly accomplished. If that is a word, slightestly, slightestly, nope, not a word. Oh, get out of here, come on, I was around the corner. That's that's one of the other things that I can't stand about this game is Dead Man's Hand. That's one of the worst death streaks I've ever seen. And it just frustrates me to the point beyond belief. Oh, you're dead, get out of here, get out of here. And, wait, I have a feeling I'm going to be saying get out of here again. Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, I'm saying that way too much. I'm sorry, guys. I'll stop. Um, but yeah, I uh, I brought back my kills a little bit. I'm not exactly a, a 2.0 KD. I could get there sometime soon, though. Um, let me just get around here. Take the position around the side. Control these, these awesome points. Oh, come on. Really? Yes! Got him, got him. Alright. This is a dangerous area to take part in. Alright, you're down. Uh, where are they going to come from? I feel like middle hallway is going to be a, a huge rush of people. Uh, we got one dude up here? No? Where are these guys? That's one Sam turret down. Get out of here, Sam turret. Why do they call it Sam? <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding, I know why they call it Sam. It's called a surface to air missile, bitch. Oh man, I forgot about that plane. You gotta always remember those lines of sight. I forget about that cockpit every single time. Get out of here. Alright, guys, I made a comeback. I'm proud of it. It was a pretty good comeback. 2050. Ooh, 
2050 points, 37 kills, 22 deaths with the victory. If you guys enjoyed this gameplay, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for episode 20 of Road to Commander. You are currently watching episode 19. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate and talk to you guys later. Peace.